Miscommunication or bad eyes, and I think those are two things that we can correct moving forward um, and, you know, ultimately eliminate those uh, whenever we can. When you look at this skill position with some big bodies, um, just how physical, the, I know everybody is, but this team in particular, how physical the matchup is that when you're going up against that? Yeah, they got um, a few guys, like you said, uh, receiver-wise that are big, that are physical, um, and they play, play physical and play up to that stutter. Um, so I think it's just up to us really to just be physical back really and just play ball. Um, I don't think there is a uh, necessarily a element to, you know, I guess how physical it is, but as far as just being being physical and being ready to go when, when your number's called. What is the specific challenge against them to make them drive the field and really earn it against you? Uh, I think we just got to make plays when, they, when they're there um, and try to get the ball back to our offense. They got a quarterback that's uh, exceptional. He throws the ball really well. I'm um, a bunch of talented guys with the ball as far as running backs, tight ends, receivers go. So um, it's going to be our job to limit or eliminate them and, and limit them to, to no big plays and, and try to get the ball back to our guys. I know it's only week two, very early in the season, but if you look statistically over time, it's not real favorable for teams who start 0-2. Is there a little extra urgency in here that Sunday you got to get it done at home? I think there's an urgency every day we show up. Um, I'm not really a big, uh, I guess, statistics or whatever you, you kind of go. I, I play ball, so I think that's just really what I focus on is just uh, showing up and, and playing ball when I can. I don't really look at too much statistics when it comes to anything else other than just who I'm lining up against and, and, and playing it like that. What you wanted to show here, you feel like you did that in week one? Uh, yeah, I think I, think I started uh, in the right direction in week one. Um, still not satisfied until the whole world know about R&Q. <laughs> How important is it that you guys up front continue that this week against their offense? Very important. Um, I think it's the most important thing um, on defense, just to rattle him, just to get a lot of bodies around him, just to hit him. Because um, we know he can make any throw around the, around the football field. So we know we got to get to him. Shane talked outside, pretty good effort, but five plays for 160 yards in the passing game. You got to correct that. How yeah. important is that, particularly against an offense as explosive as uh, the Chargers? Definitely. I mean, they got a lot of weapons over there. I mean, a lot of it. So it's, it's big this week to stay locked in on the details. It's all about the details. Once we, if we stay locked in on the details, then of course they're going to they're gonna make theirs because they get paid too, but we'll keep it at a minimum. You've played in Nissan Stadium a few times, but this will be the first regular season game. Yeah. You run out of that tunnel for starting lineups and all that sort of thing. How, how much are you looking forward to that? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I was just, we, did, we had a little meditation this morning, and that was one of the things that came to my mind. Just see how the fans take, how, what the fans do when they hear my name come out of this stadium. Just, just one experience just to see. Which, so, come against the Saints, how the wide receivers as a group do in terms of getting away from them? Um, you know, there were some details that we needed to hone in on um, to be there for Ryan. And um, like um, we all said, and it wasn't just on Ryan, it was on all of us. We could have played our part better. And, um, you know, we're just going to leave that in the past and move on. And Did you end week. up feeling health wise uh, trailing that? I feel good. Yeah. Right. yeah. That was kind of my question too, but as the more you play, the more you kind of feel like you'll be getting the groove uh, even more. Yeah, I just say um, just keep practicing and doing exactly what they tell me, and, uh, you know, I'll be back to where I need to be. What are you guys seeing in the receiver room right now with Pop is limited about just who needs to step up and that sort of stuff? We all do. Um, you know, we all just need to play our part, know our role on this football team, and just keep getting better. Tim Kelly just stressed the importance of first and second downs, just converting on that. Like, what do you look at in terms of what you can do better in that situation? Um, we all just need to be better on keying the ball, no <laughs> pre-snap penalties, and um, um, just really just going out there and playing our bread at football, not doing too much, not overdoing anything, and just playing time football. Do you feel like you guys are closer to, to having a – a pretty good day as opposed to the day that it was on Sunday and it's not that far off? Um, you know, I would just say, you know, things happen. You know, we had a lot of penalties. Um, you know, we can't take those back and, you know, just keep getting better. Is there, an urgency? Sorry, is there an urgency about this game, just home opener and trying to get that first win and avoid 0-2? I would just say we, we treat every game like that. Um, just going to practice it and um, go out there and play on Sunday.